Yo, what's going on guys? It's Burke Round 88 coming to the second part of my team build. The team is done. And as you see by the title, we have the best goalie in NHL 24 hut. The unbeatable, unbeatable goalie in NHL 24 hut. And I'm going to show you his stats because against, you know, probably the best idea, I dismantled my playoff theme team in the middle of a hut champs round. I literally had six games left and I was doing all right. I was doing all right. I had eight wins, four losses. So I'm doing all right at this point in champs. And I thought, hey, let's tear this team apart and let's build a new theme team. And in this, I found the best goalie NHL has to offer. Let's get into it, guys. Let's look at the theme team. Let's look at the goalie. And let's look at the goalie stats in the last six games of champs. Because, guys, this is a must-build goalie. This is a must-get goalie. And it'll be your goalie for the rest of the year. He is that incredible. People were saying to me in chat today as they were watching some playing me. And they were saying, this is unbelievable, the saves that he's making. I've never seen goalies make this save. And I'm going to make him ASAP. So who is it? Let's go check it out. And let's check out this team. First of all, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you do enjoy it, hit that thumbs up up. If you're new here and you won't miss anything in the future, hit that sub button notification bell so you don't. But you're going to see Keith Primo was third line center on my playoff team. That's how good my playoff team was. He was third line center and he's first line center on this team. And this team in six games went five and one. So this team, although it doesn't look incredible, they are massive and they play fantastic this team is a six foot five overall or higher and this card here you get free out of hut rush guys marco antilia is unreal unreal he's fast even though he only goes 90 he's huge he's impossible to knock off the puck and he is just an incredible with the puck in the corner and he gets great passes off to people this card is unreal and he's free in hut rush 600 000 points we know all about primo so we don't need to do that. And then Samsonov, Samsonov, Rasmussen. He is six foot six, incredible. He's only playing on the first line because I don't want to overcrowd my first line with talent. So Daze will be on the second line and he was incredible as well. Six games, four assists. And then Lowry, I can't wait to get Lowry out on the ice. He is a new addition to the team, six foot six, 90, 96 speed, 99 on the faceoff. I can't wait to try him. He wasn't on the team during the run. That is the center that was in his spot. And then we got line A, Zubris. We got a whole bunch of great cards on this team, but this is the team guys that has been unreal and it's the six foot five or taller brett burns chara stanley this logan stanley card actually plays pretty dynamite i i i would say give him a try even if you've got incredible cards on your team go out get a logan stanley give him a try see what you think because this card plays better than a lot of 96s i've used so this card i love it he's gonna stay for a while headman only gets up to an 89 so even if he gets up to 89 stanley will stay there and headman will be the one getting replaced Dougie Hamilton, on the other hand, I will get up, and Paranko will be gone. I've never been a fan of Paranko in this game, but Paranko's good for now, so we'll leave him there. Now, what you're waiting for, the goalie. The goalie that steals the show, the goalie and the record, and that is Jacob Markstrom, obviously. Best goalie in Hut from the day of release. His base card is the best goalie, and this goalie is in incredible incredible breakaways people were on, coming in on breakaways on me getting the backhand off and jacob markstrom makes the backhand save they go forehand he makes the forehand save they go short side he gets the short side save one timers they were going backdoor one timers he would stretch that pad out and make that save jacob markstrom is incredible at his 96 overall in six games you can just see it underneath my camera six games played five wins one loss 1.2 goals against with a 93 save percentage now small sample size of six games guys but that is six hut champs games incredible he was he was absolutely incredible the best goalie i've ever seen the best goalie i've ever had the experience of playing in front of because trust me i wasn't doing anything with this goalie he's doing it all and 13 5 and 2 is the champs record 13 5 and 2 unbelievable record we played some unbelievable people 
And look at this. In the six games, we had Markstrom. Shut out. Shut out. Let in four. So kind of tough. But this guy, Michigan's nonstop, right? You'll see, like, he Michigan's nonstop. I've played him too many times. I play him every day. And all he does is Michigan. So I'm not going to hold that against Markstrom. That one there wasn't Markstrom. This one was, right? So shut out shut out michigan spammer shut out shut out and then one goal let up in six games he let up five goals incredible performance out of marstrom guys now against my better judgment i am gonna go ahead and show you the two cards that i'm targeting for my team before i can get them and the reason i say against my best judgment is because when i do stuff like this those cards get all bought up and they get listed for silly amounts and then i can't afford them so i try to i try to not do it as much or at least until i have the card but uh here's the path for the theme team and here is the card the the two cards that i'm going to be going after as soon as i can just because with their size they're they're incredible and you got to have them, right? So first of all, Curtis Douglas is a card that I want on this team. Six foot nine. So Daniel Chara is six foot nine. He's impossible to knock off the puck. You just skate around with him. Chara is a must build as well. But 94 speed, 99 shooting power. I got to have this, this Curtis Douglas on my team. I had him on last year's team team. He was amazing for the Leafs team team. I got to get him. He's unbelievable. Big tipper. He's got all the good stuff on him. 95 face off. So he will be playing up the middle to get that tipper big tipper and eclipse up the middle but uh curtis douglas will be on my team now unfortunately he is already going for way too high because he's up in the 380,000 range this guy's out to lunch at 750,000 but 380,000 in my opinion is too high at that price tag i'm never going to get this card i need him to come down to earth a little bit where he's more like the 220 210 that's when i'll buy him that's, that's even still really high for 95 overalls. And then we got Jordan Greenway. Six foot six, 94 speed. I got to get this guy. I got to get Jordan Greenway. And, you know, obviously, obviously, Tage Thompson has to be one that I look at. And he will be another one that I look at as well. 95 speed, 90, 99 shooting, 95 face off. So he can ride the center as well. And he can replace the 85 Tage that I'm currently using. And then I have an MSP Patrick Line. That, uh, that I'm going to try to get my hands on. If I can get this team to six foot six and above, I will. So I'll slowly try to remove the six foot five players and go six foot six as more and more cards come out. We'll have to wait and see if that's even an option. And then Mo Sider is unfortunately not going to make the team as he is six foot four. I really wanted this team, this, this team to be fun names as well as tall players, but guys when you start looking at the really good players in real life and the ones you want like mo cider like eric lindros those names always fall short austin matthews always fall short at six foot three and six foot four so it's unfortunate that i can't use everybody but hey the theme team is meant to use different cards it's meant to use like players you don't always use right and yes the six foot five team and above is kind of a, a meta theme team, a meta thing, but not having McDavid, Dreisaitl, Lindros, Lemieux, Antropov, like, well, Antropov's over six five, never mind, scratch that. But having all those guys, not having all those guys on your team, those guys are the meta. McKinnon's meta, right? McCarr's meta. Like, all those cards are, are in the meta. So in six, just being a six foot five team doesn't put you in the meta category but it's unreal and it is fun. And that team that I'm rocking right now is not a team that jumps out at you overall wise, but it is a team that plays unreal. So what's next in this step? Getting a couple of those cards that I just listed above. Curtis Douglas, I think is required on this team because I need to get Bukestad. I need to get Thompson off this team. Well, Thompson, I'm going to try to get his other card. So then up the middle, would be probably Douglas and then Lowry, then probably Tage or Primo, and then Tage or Primo here. And then down the wing, the wing is pretty good. Like like I said, Antilia, I'm really, really impressed with this card. He'll press Rasmussen will probably go to the third line. Daze will come to the first line, and then Zubris will come to the second line. And as for the fourth line, Mantha will be good enough for right now. And then Peros has to go eventually, but you know. 
he's a fourth liner. He doesn't play much minutes, so I don't really have to worry about it now. And the 88s, the three 88s I have are impressive enough to hold with the other cards. So the, the, the team is good. I don't need to rush anything. As you can tell, I can't because I have 751 coins. But like the defense is where I, I get bailed out. So we have Brent Burns. The Dano Chara, unreal combination. They just they play big minutes, they get it done. And then Stanley and Paranko, they hold down the fort. And then Dougie Hamilton will be a 94 eventually. And uh, Victor Hedman just struggles to, to stay out there. But it doesn't matter when you have Jacob Markstrom in net being the best goalie NHL has to offer and just getting every save and playing like a god. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy the team and I hope you're going to stick with me here to watch this team build and see how they're going to do because I'm going to give you an update on how the team's doing throughout the next couple of weeks, like how I feel about Markstrom. Now that you've seen Markstrom's record, next week we're going to check out his record after champs and after we played champs and, and rivals and all, all that stuff. We'll check out his record, see how the save percentage and goals against is doing. But hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Get after Markstrom. Get after having a fun theme team and get ready for a great summer. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, ciao, ciao.